Oh, welcome back to watching Newly Doing Things. I am back to talk about some new fragrance. Of course, you guys already know who it's from. I'm finally pronouncing it right, Dossier. So Dossier, I actually got another fragrance. The scent I have today is Gourmand White Flower. So we're gonna dig all the way into this, but before I do guys, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, which is Nelly Doing Things. And as well, don't forget to leave a comment below. You guys already know what these fragrances from Dossier, I do have 10% off code, it is Nelly 10. Get your 10% off between August and October. And don't forget to hit that notification button while you're down there as well. So let's get into this fragrance. All right, all right, all right. So you guys already know, with these fragrances I grab, they do range from 29 to $59. This one is the $29 one. You guys already know about the packaging. We do have a cute little label on the front that says Gourmand White Flowers and Red Bright Letters. We have the top notes at the top of the fragrance. And you guys already know we have a card inside that breaks down everything about it and tells you which one it compares. So this one is inspired by Victor and Rolf's Flower Bomb, y'all. I was like, ooh, I can't wait. I was like, I gotta grab this one. I know everyone knows what Flower Bomb smells like. It is literally a beautiful bouquet of flowers and we're gonna see if this one matches up. So let's dig right into these notes. So of course I'm gonna start with the Dose fragrance. So with the Gourmand White Flowers, the top notes are bergamot, green tea, freesia, berries. The middle note is white flowers, orchid, and rose. And the base note is musk, patchouli, caramel, and vanilla. Beautiful, those notes are so nice. I did pull up on Fragrantica. I have the Victor and Ralph, the classic perfume. The top notes in this scent is tea, bergamot, and osmothus. The middle notes are orchid, jasmine, rose, freesia, and African orange flower. Mm. Base notes is patchouli, musk, and vanilla. So we got a lot of similarities there, a lot, a lot. So you guys already know, let's spray her up, wrist, over the head, and walk through. Mm. Ooh, this one is powerful. This is a powerful, powerful scent. Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, my favorite Flower Bomb fragrance is Flower Bomb Extreme, the purple one, the deep, rich purple one. That is my favorite. Oh, wow. Ooh, okay. So from first spray, guys, it smells just like that Flower Bomb, y'all. I'm like a little stunned. I'm like, okay, what is it in Flower Bomb? That's that top note. And the top notes of that is tea and bergamot and the osmosis. The tea and bergamot is like the first two notes of Victor and Ralph and the first two notes of the gourmand white florals is bergamot, green tea, freesia, and berries. So they do have the tea and the bergamot right in there. The osmosis, they don't have that one, but they do have the freesia and berries on top of that. That green tea is beautiful. It's kind of a little hidden in there, but it's very pretty. Bergamot is very strong in this one, just like the Flower Bomb in my opinion. The freesia and berries, the berries is hidden, but the green tea and freesia is sticking in bergamot. It's sticking right there. Middle notes is orchid, jasmine, rose, and freesia in Flower Bomb, and white flowers, orchid, and rose in the Gourmand White Flowers. Hmm. The White Flowers, Orchid, and Rose. You guys already know this channel, I hate Rose. So usually Rose grabs my nose really quick, but I'm not smelling her. I'm smelling that green tea and bergamot still. The base notes in the Victor and Ralph one is patchouli, musk, and vanilla. So the base note on the Gourmand White Flowers, it is musk, patchouli, caramel, and vanilla. So this one has caramel added. So like I said before, Dossier gives you an extra note in the base, middle, and top notes. I love that. I like the caramel added, you guys. I love chocolate, caramel, vanilla, musk, tonka bean. All, all of that is like nice and creamy and smooth and just makes edible gourmand, like they say. So this is 18% concentration too. Nice. So from the first spray, I smell flower bomb off the bed. If I sprayed this in a room, everyone would be like, oh, flower bomb. Psych dossier, because literally this is really, really nice. The top notes, the green tea is very, very prominent. I have to admit, in the flower bomb, I think I do smell the green tea, but then all the flowers come in so strong and the vanilla must. So this one, the green tea and bergamot is Danging. The white flowers is coming in, patchouli and musk is in there. Now I wish the caramel stayed. The caramel is very at the top, just like the vanilla when you first spray it, even though it's the base notes of it. But I wish the caramel stayed with that green tea, like a green tea caramel. That's, that's such a crazy mixture, but it smells right when you first spray it. The green tea is almost smell like a matcha tea. It's not matcha, but it, 
it just it has that flair to you know what i'm saying guys you get like a matcha tea latte or a little frappe or something it smells like that i like that but the flower bomb doesn't smell like that but this one kind of gives you that extra little sweetness and i think that caramel is mixing with it i just wish it was as strong as the green tea this one is a very very close comparison one y'all if you feel like the flower bomb scent is a little too expensive or you're like um i don't know some notes are maybe a little too strong or too floral i think you may like this one a little better because it does have the more berries it has a lot of flowers in it but it has a lot more richer base notes so that caramel really does stick with it if you don't mind a little bit of a herbal scent when it comes to the green tea part then you'll really like this one because the flower bomb one she doesn't have that strong green tea in my opinion. That's not what shows up on my skin, but this one, it's staying. Like a few different scents in the front and then we sniff past it's like green tea's still there. Like I'm here. I love the green tea in this. It's beautiful. This is definitely, definitely a spring scent off the bat. I feel like the caramel and vanilla in this, you can get away with wearing this, especially in the winter, a little bit of fall time. If you do pull a lot of vanilla and caramel, I pull it a lot, musky, deeper scents. I pull it very well on my skin, but some people may get just the flower still on their skin. For people that don't pull more deeper garment scents on their skin or spicy, just more prominent, deeper scents, I would recommend this one during spring and summertime so you can get all that florally goodness. And then people like myself that pull the richer gourmet scents, especially the more um, edible scents that is, I would do this one even during fall, give it a chance. But springtime, definitely. Summer, this may be a little too floral for some people, but I think springtime, this would be great for everybody. And again, guys, if you're looking for a flower bomb-ish kind of vibe of a scent, she gives it to you. So a beautiful bouquet of flowers drizzled in caramel and they popped a little vanilla on the side. Mm, cute. So the Gourmet White Flowers, this one does replicate pretty much the flower bomb, especially the original base notes that you get off of it off the bat, like the bouquet of flower kind of scent. This definitely gives it to you and it gives you a little bit more of a little caramel vanilla twist. It's really, really nice. I think this one, does it like outbeat the Flower Bomb? I still think the Flower Bomb is a legendary. It is the top, top, top tier. Something more affordable, you know, less expensive. This is a very, very good runner up. I have to admit, Dossier, they are very, very good at replicating these scents, these very popular scents at that. So, because Victor and Ralph, I feel like that's not an easy one to replicate, in my opinion. I feel like that is so many different notes in that scent and how I break it down. You can actually smell each and every layer. The top row off the bat and the base note. The middle notes in this scent, I'm just not grabbing them as much, but in Victor and Ralph, I grab every single layer. So it's the only thing I noticed about this one that's a little bit missing out, but the top and base notes are so good and so prevalent and they stick and stay that I'm like, if you want that kind of flower bomb scent, this just gives it to you. So that middle notes won't even phase you really, unless you love rose and white flowers and everything then it may, you may be like, eh, I don't know. But this one replicates it very, very well. So guys, I thank you for watching me, which is Nelly Doing Things. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, which is Nelly Doing Things. And as well, don't forget to leave a comment below. Guys, let me know, are you a fan of Victor and Ralph's scents? Are you a Flower Bomb fanatic? And which Flower Bomb is your favorite fragrance? And guys, don't forget to hit that notification button before you go. You guys already know what I'm about to say. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye.